How to read wind direction on a weather map. Have you ever looked at a weather map and wondered how to figure out which way the wind is blowing? Understanding wind direction is key to interpreting weather maps. Let's break it down step by step. First, wind direction is often shown using arrows. These arrows indicate where the wind is coming from and where it is headed. The tail of the arrow points to the origin, while the head shows the destination. For example, if an arrow points from the north to the south, the wind is blowing from the north toward the south. Another common method is the wind barb. A wind barb consists of a line with flags or pennants attached. Each long barb represents 10 knots of wind speed, while each short barb represents 5 knots. The direction of the barb indicates where the wind is blowing. So, if you see a barb pointing east, the wind is coming from the west and moving toward the east. Now, let's talk about isobars. These are lines on a weather map that connect points of equal atmospheric pressure. Wind typically blows from high-pressure areas to low-pressure areas. In the northern hemisphere, the wind flows counterclockwise around low-pressure systems and clockwise around high-pressure systems. In the southern hemisphere, this pattern is reversed. Understanding how wind behaves around pressure systems is essential. Around low-pressure systems, winds blow counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Conversely, around high-pressure systems, winds blow clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Knowing wind direction is not just for meteorologists. It is important for activities like sailing, flying, and predicting weather patterns. For instance, sailors need to know wind direction to navigate effectively. Similarly, pilots must consider wind direction for safe takeoffs and landings. By grasping these basic concepts, you can confidently read wind direction on a weather map. This knowledge will help you make sense of weather forecasts and enhance your understanding of weather patterns. So next time you check a weather map, you will know exactly how to interpret the wind direction and apply it to your activities.